Mickey Orkis outside the London Stadium, West Ham Fan TV. A good performance by the boys today, very I solid. Think, yeah, I think they improved a lot in the second half. Um, I think Nordvik played better the game as the game progressed. Maswaka was all right in the first half, dropped off in the second. But again, lack of firepower. Um, I think playing, playing three central defenders helped. Um, goalkeeper wasn't tried, really. You look at the game, they didn't have any shots. Um, we kept them quiet. I think Collins was brilliant. Um, on paper, you know, before the game, I'm sure we would have said one point, fine. Mm. But having looked at the game and the chances created and their lack of chances, we could have actually won the game if we were a little bit more ruthless in front of the goal. But that's, that is massive, isn't it? Like, you, you, you say about they, they had no chances. You've got a guy there who scored 9 in 9, 10 in 10 against us. He was sighing as soon as he got the ball or got yeah, near yeah. to the ball. But I think Reed and, and Collins controlled him well. They didn't stick to him and they kept quite zonal. Um, but I think, you know, if we had someone up front or Sacco was fit, we could have nicked it. But I think for confidence, two clean sheets in the last three is, is definitely a bonus. I think we can steal a win next week at Stoke, uh, to be honest with you, and then we'll be safe officially. Um, I think for confidence, this was the main, the main you know, point uh, to, to get out today's point. Um, and we just hope to league got to, to, to get a win next week and then maybe something against Spurs, and then we'll be you know, comfortable for the season. big game of Spurs game, and I'm, I'm a bit more confident going into it now, now that we've had a, a couple of you know, decent results. And I think the fact that that's a Friday night game will motivate everybody mm. on and off the field, and hopefully the, the, the boys can you know, put in a shift and, and at least get a point. I think, as I said, I think when I came on in, in October, we play better in harder games. Yeah. And because it's Tottenham, I think we'll, we'll spur ourselves on, for the lack of a better word, and, uh, and get at least a point against them. I'm a little bit concerned though, Nicky, about next season. I, I mean, tactically today, I don't think we were that uh, astute. There was no width at all. Everybody was too central. Nobody really knew where they were playing. Lanzini was coming to the left side of defense. Moving forward, I hope Village can rectify it next year. Uh, whether it means new backroom staff, as I know you guys have pointed out, uh, calling in a couple of old pros like Rio. Uh, if JD, JD is the coach for the crossing and shooting, you know, it's evident that he's the crossing and shooting coach because we weren't shooting at all today. Uh, it's a waste of his ability and his presence. Rio needs to be incorporated into the team and Bilic needs to, I think, put his stubbornness, uh, I think, a little bit to one side. I don't want him to leave. We need consistency. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't think that the board are going to get rid of him. I think they'll see his contract out. I hope they give him the money that he needs and he can spend wisely and we can offload the players that we need to offload and move forward next year because we've suffered enough. We've suffered enough. Yeah, this I think it's a big summer this summer. I think Very they've got to start to show some ambition. Make or break, I think, this summer. Um, hopefully, they can put their stinginess aside, buy players that we need, uh, support the manager, give him some new backroom staff and some new training coaches. Fitness coach, I think, wouldn't wouldn't be too far amiss. Um, and then, you know, make amends for the season that we've endured this year. Stoke next week. Um, I, said, I think we can get a win. Because Stoke's going to have pressure on themselves at home. Um, if we can get Sacco a little bit more match fit during the week, uh, I wouldn't start with Caleri, I'm sorry, I wouldn't. Um, I would put Sacco and Fletcher. Why not play two forwards? Tottenham tried one forward 25 years ago with Lineker and it didn't even work. You have to play two forwards and, and the kid hasn't been given a chance. I think Fernandez needs to play in the middle. Um, we all know what he can do. I think we can nick a win at Stoke next week. Yeah draw with Spurs and then that's it Kushti for the rest of the season brilliant thank and you I very much shout out to my friend George in Australia and all of my past and present students at Alphington Grammar School as well thanks Nikki cheers, cheers man